Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's video, just a quick video, I'm gonna show you all you need to know about how merging and flattening work in Affinity Photo. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. So let me import this file first. And as you can see here, there are a lot of layers right here. So merging layers combines multiply layers together into a new merge layer. You can merge pixel, vector, mask adjustments, text or image layers into a new merge layers. And once the layers have been merged, all the previous contents are no longer editable. So there are three ways of merging layers that I'm going to show you today. The first and most frequently used method is merge down. I believe most of you already know about this. Okay, so let's say that I want to merge these two layers. So select the layer above, then right click on it and merge down. Or you can select both layer, then go to layer and then merge select it or control shift E and it will become a new merge layer as you can see here okay so let's move on the second method is merge visible if you want to merge all of these layers into a new copy merge layers you can use merge visible okay so just select one layer here it's up to you which layer you want to select i will select this one then right click on it and merge visible or you can click ctrl alt shift e and a new layer will be added above the layer you just selected right here so uh, this is a new copy layer of all of the visible layers here okay let me turn this off as you can see here and the last method is flattening so let's say that you want to keep this file but the size is too big and you don't need all of these previous layers anymore you can use flattening to merge all of these layers into a new merge layer to reduce the size okay so uh, the size of this file is 98.2 megabyte okay so let's use flattening to merge all of this layer so go to document and then flatten okay as you can see here this is the new merge layer and let's save this document then check the file size so now the file size has been reduced as you can see here 2.92 megabyte but I won't use this flatten feature I'm just showing it to you because I always leave the layers of my editing in case I need it someday okay so that's it for this video I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video